Vega, and I love comics. But not really this one. But it is better than something. Control off the lead. Okay, if you're not a webcomic reader, you probably never heard of it. But if you do read webcomics, you know it's the, one of the most popular gaming comics. Popular for Miscarriages. A protagonist of dubious quality and cartoonist misadventures interacting online. Also, the infamous face. That face. You could do it on your keyboard. By the artist Tim Buckley. Yes, that's just how you spell it. But before we go on, let's look at a recent comic. It's been a while since I've read this because I dropped it for various reasons. Looks pretty cool. The art changed from just copying and pasting pieces. I stopped reading basically 2008-ish, but I stopped for several reasons, as I said. Storylines got boring, or bad, or worse depending who you ask, and I grew out of it. And I actually abandoned gaming comics for a long time. It was the second webcomic I read ever. And I started to read it to fill the gap left when the first webcomic I read, Mall Monkeys, ended. What does anything I'm saying has to do with this? Has to do with analog and d-pad. Well, in December 2006, this comic was released as a side story in an alternate universe. The best thing about it is that it stays true to the characters Ian and Lucas, the very first two, Missing One Melon. The bad thing is that it's generic straight man guy Lucas to socially inept, self-destructive, man-child, poor gamer version of a knockoff of Homer Simpson, how the hell did this guy exist without being homeless and alone, Ethan. Except... They're superheroes, and you know what that means? Fanfic power! We start with the two main characters at the arcade, and Ethan losing at Cubicle Ambush. I want that game. Game making friends, make it. Then the quartermaster shows up to steal everyone's quarters. Ethan and Lucas then use the power of the Konami code to become analog and D-pad. Hmm, I wonder if that works in real life. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, down, left, down. I hope you saved your game recently, noob. One order of ownage coming up. 2006 and 7 had an extreme case of EXTREME language going on. 1 to 10, 1 being not so extreme and 10 being extremely extreme, I give this a 9.5! <laughs> <laughs> Check it out, extreme cheddar! <laughs> they fight! They lose. Cameo time! It's Scott the Linux guy, but people who use Linux aren't people, and so his help doesn't count. And his persona is not present, like in a webcomic. They figure out the area Quartermaster hits and went to stake out the laundromat. Ethan likes this because he likes watching things spin around. Spin! 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 This is the first representation of the fact that he is an idiot. In this comic, cameo time! It's Lila, the girlfriend, now wife in a webcomic. She just plays Angry Girlfriend. Fun fact, in the early days of the webcomic, he lost his other girlfriend by shunning their dates. In a similar fashion. A gaggle of lackeys are still in quarters when the two fight them. Wait a tick. Does Ethan slash Analog have no powers while D-Pad can shoot freaking arrows at people? I know what it's like to have arrows shot at you. But the point is, why isn't this D-pad an analog? I mean, come on! He shoots arrows! I wish I could just go... Pew! 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 Analog slash Ethan acts like a kid and is less useful. Like the webcomic! They find the lair and Quartermaster wants the quarters to use on the giant machine to play the Sims in real life. To control the city like the Sims. This is a serious condition. Over 500 fuckjillion Americans deal with this, but you can help. 
Call 1-800-FUCK-SIMS right here so you can help these addicted, wannabe, godmodded D-backs get the help that they deserve. Call now. It's really funny when Analog points out how stupid he is to not put it on free play. Then they fight. Ethan get distracted for being a dumb hole. Fight with strategy. Win! Back at their penthouse, that's a controller. So you returned all the quarters? Well, maybe not all of them. A hero gotta play games. Thievery, how heroic. All in all, it's not that bad of a comic. The art by Zach Frankfrock is leaps beyond 2007 CAD comics. It's one of the elements that make the unexciting writing tolerable. Hell, I wish the webcomic thing was the thing that only lasted two issues and seemed to be forever forgotten about. There's better written comics out there. In fact, the back of the book reminds us of one. My name's Vega. I love comics, but not really this one. And definitely not Control-Alt-Elite.